Matter is going to fix the smart home. Matter is going to fix the smart home. Y'all, I am getting my hopes up. It's happening. Apple and Amazon and Google are gonna play nice with each other. The smart home is all going to work together. I am getting my hopes up. This is an updated outlook for Matter for 2022. CES just came and went, and there were plenty of interesting, flashy things like ceiling faucets and robot vacuums that combine mops and cameras. But undoubtedly, the most important announcement that came out of CES for the smart home wasn't something flashy. It was simply matter gaining a ton of momentum that might help it fulfill its massive amount of promise. Now, you might be thinking in elegant fashion, huh? And I get it. And most of the announcements related to Matter had more to do with developers than consumers anyway, but the advancements that come out of it could be some of the most consumer-friendly stuff we've seen in the smart home in a long time. So, let me catch you up on what matter is. Then I'll go over all of the updates that we've seen recently from matter, focused mostly on CES, before detailing why these updates make me so excited about it. And then finally, talking about my remaining concerns about matter. Okay, the Cliff Notes version of matter. If you're already familiar, feel free to check out the time codes below and skip ahead. Or alternatively, if you want a more detailed explanation, check out this video that we made when Matter first debuted last year, and then come back here and feel free to skip ahead, or don't, and spend that much more quality time with me. Here we go. Matter wants to make it so that your Amazon devices work with your Google Assistant devices, work with your Apple HomeKit devices, and Amazon, Google, and Apple are already on board, along with a whole bunch of other big names in the smart home, like Samsung, and Philips Hue, and Comcast. To get granular for a sec, Matter is a smart home protocol founded by the Connectivity Standards Alliance. The Connectivity Standards Alliance is the new name for the group behind Zigbee. Zigbee is essentially a low power radio signal that devices like door sensors can use to communicate with hubs or smart speakers. And the CSA is refining the whole idea and making it easier for devices to talk to each other. Matter is actually gonna use a relatively new way for devices to communicate called Thread, in addition to more standard ways like Bluetooth Low Energy and Wi-Fi. Going into CES, we knew a bunch of big names were already on board and they were already building Matter into their compatible gadgets and even their software. Apple is making it part of iOS. Google and Amazon are building compatibility into their smart speakers. SmartThings and Philips Hue are adopting the protocol on new devices and updating some old ones to work with Matter, etc. They're planning to flip the switch, so to speak, and start letting this communication flow in the first half of this coming year. And you're caught up. CES 2022, Google announced something called Fast Pair, which will supposedly let you set up and pair compatible devices like headphones and Chromebooks and other Google gizmos with a single click. And Google specified that you'll be able to use Matter with FastPair to set up your smart home devices on your home network. Amazon already had something called frustration-free setup, which basically lets you use existing Amazon devices to set up new stuff on your network without having to re-enter your info every time. And at CES, Amazon rolled out a developer kit so that all Matter devices can take advantage of this feature. Both updates are helping to fulfill one of Matter's main promises, making the smart home stuff in your home just work with less fuss. Before Matter, it's a hassle knowing which smart devices work with which assistant. Does the cool smart light bulb that you just saw in the hardware store work with Siri? Well, with Matter, you shouldn't have to guess or pull out your smartphone for a quick search. You'll just be able to see this symbol and know. 
and you won't have to download a separate app to set it up when you get home. The existing smart home gatekeepers, Amazon, Google, Apple, they'll do that part for you, which will also make life easier for developers. Those developers can focus on great, unique hardware and let the software giants do the software part. And they don't have to design for different systems, just matter. That's what this easy setup stuff is putting into place. Amazon went one step further with something called commissionable endpoint First of all, yes, we bleeped that word to not wake your smart speakers. And second of all, how about that name? Talk about a crowd pleaser. Matter doesn't really work unless compatible devices can be controlled by multiple assistants. This commissionable endpoint allows you to add Amazon's assistant as an admin on devices that you already have set up in another system. You've got Google Assistant gadgets, bloop. Now they work with Amazon too. So sure, it doesn't sound sexy, but my goodness, it's important. It's the sharks and the jets finally letting their kids have play dates. Bloop. And the Amazon software should allow you to control Matter devices using the cloud or your local network, meaning that your smart home can keep functioning to an extent in the case of a connectivity issue. Aside from Amazon and Google, a bunch of other companies announced Matter support, including Arlo, Belkin Wemo, LG, Senglid, Schlage. We knew SmartThings would support Matter, but parent company Samsung showed off a new control hub for the system and specifically mentioned that Matter support will be built in. Even more companies announced products that will communicate with Thread, laying the groundwork for that seamless communication. For Matter to live up to expectations, it needs widespread adoption. CES kind of confirmed that that's happening. It needs to make setting up your smart home devices easier. Check. It needs to make working with multiple voice assistants easier. Check. The process isn't done on any of these three fronts, but concrete steps keep happening at an assuring rate as we build up to a launch that's hopefully only a few months away. The biggest thing holding the smart home back in terms of functionality was the mostly janky way that different devices work together. It was trying to fit all of your gadgets under one Google or Amazon shaped umbrella. Matter is constructing a big shelter for everything and Amazon and Google are willingly acting as supports. A seamless smart home is finally on the horizon. But there are a few concerns left. Number one, Apple. They didn't announce anything at CES, but that's not unusual, and they've already pledged support for Matter on smart home devices and even iPhones, and dedicated HomeKit device makers like Eve are building in support for Thread. So, why am I worried? Well, because for Matter to truly work, it has to be a two-way street, including all of the major parties. Amazon controlling Google devices, Google controlling Amazon devices, cats and dogs living together. Amazon is letting companies use its frustration-free developer kit. Google is letting others back into the garden to control Nest gadgets like the thermostat. Last year, Apple did show off an Ecobee thermostat that had Siri built in, but you had to have a nearby HomePod mini or another Apple hub to actually route the command to the cloud. Apple has always wanted its smart home to be a sort of walled garden, and for good reason. The smart home for a long time has been a wild west of sorts, and Apple has wanted to keep its smart home secure on its own terms. But the matter vision might be held back from full fruition if everybody else is fully on board, but Apple still requires you to get one of their Apple TVs or HomePod minis to play nice. That's the extra step we're trying to get rid of. An obstacle between buying something and having it just work with whatever you already have. Amazon and Google still have work to do on this front too, and Apple could certainly come around on its own terms, hopefully by the time Matter actually launches, but it is a concern I have. And here I am, peer pressuring Apple to just be cool, man. And we don't know everything about Matter's privacy and security. Data in particular is a big question mark. If multiple big companies can access a single smart home gadget, which of them owns that data? It's probably not a big deal for something like a door sensor, but this could be why we haven't heard much about smart cameras and matter. 
Lots of companies make recurring revenue from subscription costs related to storing smart camera data and video, not to mention monetizing that data itself. There's no way companies just give up that source of profit. So how is Matter going to function when it comes to these higher end devices and things that companies will be truly reluctant to share? And is interoperability the thing that's actually holding back the smart home? One analyst we talked to suggested that that was low on the list for consumers. Instead, he pointed to things like cost and use limitations. Smart bulbs are more expensive than regular ones, and Matter isn't going to fix every smart home headache, like glitches or changing out different types of batteries for different sensors. And my last major concern, backwards compatibility. Yes, most companies have announced that Matter will roll out to existing products via an update, but a lot of those announcements have specified some existing products. Matter looks like it could be the perfect solution if you're starting your smart home this summer. Almost every product you could want should be compatible by then. But I'm a little worried about those who have an existing setup getting left behind. Dealing with obsolescence in the smart home and evolving field of tech was always going to be an issue. And it's probably unavoidable to an extent. Some stuff will just be too old for an update. Some older stuff can't work with thread, etc. Still, I'll be keeping my eyes out for announcements about existing products getting the upgrade over the course of the next couple of months. Fingers crossed we see more and more, because like I said, I've got my hopes up way, way up, and there's no way I am setting myself up for crushing disappointment. No way. Because the smart home might be finally ready to live up to the sci-fi expectations of yesterday. It might be finally seamless and easy thanks to matter, and I don't want to leave anyone behind, because this could be really cool. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to CNET's YouTube channel for more. Bloop.